Hey everybody, it's Blue Trader. Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now that we've done pretty much everything in the game, there's only a few things left to do, so let's head over to the Mushroom Kingdom. Just because I feel like that's a pretty good spot to just be, overall. We haven't finished up cleaning out the shop yet, but that's going to take quite a bit of time considering how many coins we need. We did get quite a few last time, so I want to actually spend some coins doing that now if I can, possibly. I'd also like to buy some more moons. How many moons do I need? Just going to quickly check this. Which I can do fairly well from over here, probably. Okay, how many do we have? We have... 928, so I need more than I can possibly buy at this point in time. That's fine. I'll buy some outfits then, since I want to spend all my, all my money now, as much as I can anyway. Probably going to buy this, the cheapest stuff first. <laughs> Wario. Wario outfit time. I didn't mean to change into it automatically, but I, I've done it now, so... Guess I'm gonna have to run with it. Buy the Bowser's wedding outfit as well. Oh, I didn't mean to change now, come on. Just trying to get through this thing. Running out of coins now, I don't think I can buy... Oh no, there's still some stuff I can buy. Still some cheap stuff, but there's a lot of expensive stuff still. Oh, and it's just all expensive. All of it. Just literally all of it. We're gonna need so many coins to get all of this. So anyway, um, actually I should have bought some more moons. Except I don't really want to buy six moons separately. I'll just do it. Although I could buy one and then another outfit for 500. So let's do something like that. Just so we, that we have as close to zero coins as possible. Because we're going to do something that is going to help us get more coins. Because we've done... We've had a look at the second best way of getting coins in the game. But we still haven't done the... The actual best way of getting coins in the game. Why are those got the stars on them? I don't know. But anyway, let's just... Uh, uh, actually, maybe I'll be Waluigi for a little bit. Or I could actually be Wario since I... Thought about being warrior. Let's have a look at the final thing that we haven't actually had a look at yet. Hello, Luigi. Hello, Mario. Hey, have I seen that outfit somewhere before? Anyway, looking good, bro. Hey, bro, you saved Princess Peach, huh? So proud of you. But enough of that. Get this bro, I came up with a new game, I call it Balloon World. Balloon World is a game where you search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Oh, you should know that if you play, your high score, nickname and profile icon will show up in other people's games. You want to connect to the network and play Balloon World? So this is the best way to get coins in the game, but you do need to be connected to the internet. No Nintendo Switch Online uh, is required. Alright, let's begin. First, we'll move to the starting point. You play Balloon World by hiding and seeking balloons. First, I'll show you... Find it. Try to find the balloon I hide. You have 30 seconds to find the balloon and pop it. Once you leave the starting area, uh, find it will begin. So, it's 51 meters away, and we have an arrow pointing to where it is. At all times, pretty much. So, let's go. We can pop it with Cappy as well. Congrats! Nice work, bro. Here, take these 50 coins as a reward. And you'll get a bonus time bonus too. That's an extra 85 coins. So, this time I hit the balloon, but in the real thing... Players from all over the world will hide balloons. Alright, also when, you, when you're when you playing, find it for real. I'll need a few coins from you, sorry. And did you notice, for each three coins you collect, you get a second 
added to the timelet for that round. It works that way in both Find It and Hide It, so it's always good to remember. Okay, let's try Hide It. You'll be the one to hide the balloon in Hide It, bro. All players all over the world will look for it. You'll get coins for each player who plays, until somebody, someone finally finds and pops the balloon. Neat, right? The time limit is 30 seconds. Good luck hiding your balloon. How long you take to hide your balloon will affect how long people have to look for it. You can take your time and hide it far away or quickly hide it nearby. Use your time wisely. Once you leave the starting area, Balloon World, hide it will start. So let's go ahead and place our balloon somewhere. Uh, let me th see, where would be a good spot for this? Probably, I have an idea for this, so let's go. As quickly as possible, down the hill. And then let's go down here. And then go down if I can, and then place balloon by pressing the right button. Wanna hide the balloon here? Uh, yes. Where to go, bro? You picked a really good hiding spot. I hope you like Balloon World, bro. I think it's a blast either way you play it. And maybe you'll earn yourself a ton of coins if you get really good at f find it and hide it. Okay, want to play? Find it or try to find uh, anyone's balloons? So as long as you connect to the internet, uh, you also see notifications from people who attempt to pop your balloon. If they do pop your balloon, though, you have to hide it again in that level. You can hide it in e one balloon in each kingdom, so if you want to do that to try and get coins quickly, you can do that. As long as Nintendo doesn't take out this mode anytime soon, because it's a, it's a good mode, and it's the best way to get coins, and it's... Yeah. It's a good addition to the game. Okay, want to play? Um, Let's try finding some balloons here, since we're here. Now we're talking. Alright, let's play find it. Which balloon do you want to look for? So we can uh, check through these. And generally the further in it is, the more of a reward you get, but it's also harder. Because less people have, a lot more people have had trouble finding it. But anyway, let's just start with something simple. You can also see how far away it is when you are hovering over it. You have to pay 10 coins to try. And our reward is 50 coins. We have 40 seconds to find the balloon. And for every balloon we find without disconnecting from Balloon World, we also get uh, multipliers, which means we can get coins. We get more coins for just keep on playing. So the longer we keep playing without missing any balloons, the more money we get, so. So where is it? It's right there. We also get time bonus, which is really good. So we're going to be doing this for a while, just to get more coins. Nice work, bro. Here, take these 50 coins as a reward. And you get a time bonus too. That's an extra 90 coins. Congratulations, your rank has gone up. You get 9999 coins. That's probably because I played on this before. It's very account specific. Normally you just level up by doing certain things like hide the balloon this much, find the balloon this many times in a row, that sort of thing, but because I've already played this mode, it remembers what I've done, and so it gives me 999 coins straight away. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna quit out of this for now. Alright, someone search for your balloon, bro, that means you get 18 coins. Oh my goodness. I don't want these coins right now. I don't want these coins right now. Let me quit so I can actually keep these coins. I wasted 8,000 coins because of the game giving it to me all at once. I wish it gave, if you went over your total coins, if it put it in like somewhere you had to go get it. Anyway, let's go buy some stuff but since we have 9999 coins. And I'm actually kind of sad that it keeps track of all that. Because I really want to just have the mode be separate each time. Anyway, we're a skeleton now. And collecting coins is actually going to be faster if you've... Wow, I just got more coins because people search for my balloon. Oh, I'm going the wrong way because I actually need to talk to Mark Luigi, who actually is always close to the Odyssey, I'm pretty sure, somewhat. Close to the starting area. 
Also, whenever you clear more of these things and level up, you also get more balloons with uh, Luigi. So now he's got five balloons, and I believe it's a Super Nintendo kind of color reference. Bro, you startled me. That outfit, outfit is kind of, um, how can I put this? I mean, it looks good on you. Uh, it looks good, but, uh, yeah. Hey, you want to connect to the network? Yes, I do. So, yeah. This good, this mode is very good for getting coins. As you can I just got more coins. Let's play Find It. Just to, so we get some more coins. Let's go find this one, I guess. 15 coins to enter. We get 93 coins if we get it right. Also, just whenever you're starting a round, just look around because it can, you can actually see the balloons before you even select which one you want to select or do. So there it is over there. We need to get up there fairly quickly. So let's go. Remember that coins that you collect also increase the amount of time that you have to find the balloon. I feel like I'm going to miss this one because it's in a high spot and I don't know if I can get there. Oh, right now. This is not going to end well. Nope. This is very tight. Wow. How are you supposed to get up there quickly? There's probably a shortcut up that I don't know about. But anyway, I lost those 15 coins and also my streak that I didn't have because I exited the mode. Let's go a different balloon since that one's a little bit difficult with that amount of time. Uh, this one looks like it's down that way a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. That one's just silly. Because you probably have to, like, go up the front of the building somehow or increase your time in a ridiculous kind of way. That one... Why? How? Why would I want to, why would I want to do those? I'm guessing that somebody made a video showing how to put the balloon in the hardest possible place to get it. And now people want to do that. Where's that one? Oh, that one's in a... Wait, where is it? I can't see it. It's probably... Probably further away than it looks, though. I'm gonna go with this one, though, since I actually can see it from here. So let's go do that. Let's go! You can also take Yoshi if you want to. Since everything is available to you, pretty much. Up we go, and pop. Get some coins. Oh, I didn't mean to select that. Hang on. Let me just make sure I know where I'm going. 149 meters, that's a fair way away. That one is... an interesting spot. This one looks more reliable, though. Let me do this one. I also don't know if my balloon's been found yet, which is something I'll need to keep in mind so I can keep getting more money from that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't see when I'm this close to her, apparently. There we go. Apparently the arrow goes away when you're too close to it, I guess. And should be able to see it. Two in a row, which means I get a bonus. Very nice. That's such a great uh, character or profile picture, though. Um, where's that? I don't know if I want to get any of them that are up, basically. 100 meters that way. This is a really terrible kingdom to be finding balloons in, apparently. Um, I can probably do this one, though. Maybe. Let me try, at least. If I lose my streak, I'm not going to be too concerned. Okay. Get extra second. Oh, I know where it is. This one's a little bit of a sneaky one. Because we need to go into the tunnel. There it is. It's good to see that people are still playing this mode. Probably not that many people, but still. Three in a row, get more bonus. We've got 1,040... 1,477 coins. Just by going around and doing things with this mode. Other than the 9999 plus 8,000 that we had before. I'm still sad about the, the 8,000 that I lost. I wish 
It'd be cool, actually. Oh, the, the arrow goes away over time. That's what it is. It'd be good if... Um... You could actually collect the coins from Luigi. Like, if it didn't put it straight into your inventory, that is. If it just kept the coins with Luigi until you wanted to collect them and then take them out, that would be a good way to do that, probably. Ah, uh, 55 in that direction, so it's in the cave. That one's, that one's gonna be easy enough. If I mess this up, though, that would be embarrassing. Oh, that's a very short amount of time. No, it's right here. Okay. Imagine... If, instead of making it hard for people to find your balloon, and just annoying people, if everyone just gave, put the balloon as close to the start as possible, and so people just traded balloons for money. Guess that's not really the point, since if people can't find your balloon, then you, oh, my balloon got popped. Let's review my stats quickly. So, coins earned is one of the things that levels that up in, in Find It. Uh, also, number found in <laughs> in Find It is gonna level me up more for more coins. Oh my goodness, look at the amount of coins I've earned from this mode. 71,027. Also, number found in a row. If you can get that up to 15, you get all those levels up, up in Find It. And in Hide It, you just need to earn coins from it and then have other people find it. So that's very good. And you can also see on the bottom of the screen where... You've got a balloon, and also a little coin icon pointing to a level which has extra coins if you play in that world, so. Oh, yeah. uh, let's hide it real quick. And then earn some coins from that and then keep finding it, probably. Uh, I think I'll actually go over to the tunnel if I can. Just to hide it in there. That's good. Uh, let's find it again. Let's see. 149 in that direction, which is interesting. Oh, but 15 seconds to find it? I don't think I want to do that. Unless it's right behind that thing over there. I can't really see. Is that it? Or is that something else over behind that tower? I think it's probably something else. Um, let's find something better. That one could be good. Let me try this one. I'm, I'm fairly confident I can get this one. Okay, let's go! Is it... Is it up in the tree? No. Oh, but it is. I think. It's probably in a tree. Which makes it very difficult to find. Oh my goodness, where is it? I'm upset. Oh, I got it! By random chance. It was hidden in the tree. That's actually a really good hiding spot then. Because if people can't see it, they don't know what to do about it. Six in a row? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see. Let's find something that's actually going to be good. For money. Why is everyone trying to hide it in the exact same spot every single time? <sighs> just why? That one's 48 meters away. Is that up? Like, just up there? I can't see. You can also enter balloon code. To actually find, a, go after a very specific balloon. Instead of just the three pages that you're given. But I don't think I'm particularly fussed about that. I feel like I'm in trouble right now with what balloon to pick, because I don't think any of these is going to end well for me. I have 39 seconds to find this one. Oh, I wonder if you can use Yoshi to get up there quickly. Let me try. With this balloon. Also, as soon as Cappy leaves the ring, it also ends. Okay, that's how you get up there quickly. Which explains a lot of things. And there we go. So that's how you're supposed to get up there quickly, is use Yoshi. So I guess I could go after one of those ones that have been there for a while. But 
I still feel like that's a lot of work for some coins. Um, let's see, which... Also, the timer is really low, which makes it also difficult. 12 seconds? How could you get up there in 12 seconds? Even with Yoshi getting up there. How? Let's see, what else is there? I could try- oh, I can see it from here. 15 seconds. Uh, do I risk it? Let me... let me try. I have to pay 100 coins and I get 370. If I do this right, okay. Three, two, one, go! I feel like I should have just been rolling, but I feel like this is also possible. It means I can use Yoshi's tongue to get up here quickly. Oh, come on. Got it! That was close. Down to the wire. Building up our coins very quickly now. Um, but I still recommend just going after the easy stuff. Straight away. Rather than trying to go after tough stuff first. Just because it's more reliable for building up a combo. Nine in a row. And my rank went up, apparently. Cool, so I get more coins. Uh, let me just quickly cancel out that and get those coins for people looking for my balloon. And they haven't, they haven't destroyed it yet, apparently. Yeah, it's still there. Which is surprising. Must be because of how quickly I got there, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's keep finding it, since we're still going and need more coins to get up to 9999. We have 57,000! This is the best way to get coins. Even that other way that I pointed out is just nowhere near. It's just so good to be able to do this. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. Trying to use these slopes to my advantage. Where is it? Right there on top of the water. Oh, and also use motion controls to throw Cappy at things sometimes because it locks onto the balloon. Which is also useful, but it's a little bit difficult to control sometimes with the motion controls. Ten in a row, that's really good. Uh, let's see. I would, I would rely a lot, probably, on the, the star level for some of these, for the people who are playing. Because it means that they haven't have had as much experience with hiding their balloons. So let's keep this up. How's that in the same place? I don't know. Anyway. Means it's easy, easy money. Cleared 11 in a row. I'm gonna ch quickly check this again. Got some more. Oh, my balloon got popped. Let's hide it. And I might try the strategy that other people have been using. I know it's annoying to other players, but still. If I can do it, it means I might actually get some coins out of this. Maybe. If I can actually control Yoshi better than I currently am. Hang on. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm doing so bad right now. Hang on. Let me retry, since I can retry. There's a lot of coins on that thing there as well, which is interesting. Let's go! Come on, Yoshi. I can place this balloon up here if I try. Oh, why did I get stuck on that wall? Oh, come on. Oh, and there goes Yoshi. Let me retry. I'm really bad at that jump, apparently. I got it first try early when I was going up there to find a balloon, but hiding it is just too hard, apparently. That's better. That's a good spot to jump from. 
Oh, nope. I don't know what I want to do with that. It's a good spot, but I can't seem to get it to work. Got to place it somewhere else. Place it there. I actually have to be in the tree to actually place it. So let's go there. Let's see how that goes. The higher up in the tree, it means it's, um... Uh, the meters say it's further away than it actually is, but yeah. Okay, let's find it again. Let's see, that one's way over that way, that one's way over that way, that one's up there. Can't make that jump very well. Family. Good job. Um... That one. 15 seconds to get there. That is a tricky balloon. This one is probably fairly reliable. I can see it from here. Let's go for that. Don't have a lot of time to go get it, but still, it's plenty of time. Also, I like this combination of outfit right now, because Luigi, well, Luigi he will never be in a game of his own. Or in a really main one. My rank went up and I get more coins. I'm close to that, like, max rank of 50. But also, I'm not not really getting there quickly, so... Let me view my stats. I'm only missing the found and coins, I guess, at this point, so... I just need to play more if I want to get the maximum levels. Also, hang on, did my balloon pop? No. I could also play in the kingdom that has double coins, or the more coins, whatever it is. But we're almost up to 999 coins again, and then I'm gonna probably switch worlds, and probably end the episode. That one's the tricky one. I'm not that insane. I'm good at video games, but I'm also good at making mistakes. <laughs> oh, let's see, that one... That one's a good one. Oh, I accept I have to be quick. Which I am, apparently. Oh my goodness, my coins. So many coins. This is such a useful mode for collecting coins. 30 meters that way. How is it? Where is it? It's up a little bit. But not... Oh, I see it right there. Let's get that one. Oh, get up there. I don't have that much time. There we go. If I went around the other way, it probably would have been faster, but still. I just wanted to get it. Nobody looked for my balloon. Let's see, what's another good one? Why is that one still there? I don't know. I'm just not that insane to go after that in 15 seconds, though. It would probably be good. Where's that one? It's like right down there somewhere. Probably in a tree. I don't think I want to risk it, though, if it's in a tree, since I can't actually see where exactly it is. How is that one a level one? Oh, wait, it's going the other direction. Hang on. That one makes more sense now. I thought it was going up into the the t uh, t tower, but it's a level one person who hit it, so I wasn't sure. If, I didn't think it would be. Anyway, let's go get this. If I can line up properly and then go. It's probably under the water. Actually, no, it's right there. I can see it. Ow. I didn't mean to bonk there, but there we go. Congrats. Now, how is our coins going? Are we at 9999 now? Oh, we're so close. The next balloon is going to make us be 999 coins again. Where's that one? That one's probably an easy one to get since it's got 40 seconds to find it. 
So let's do that. We can see it from here though. So it's not much of a hard find then. That was a good angle for that roll. Very nice. Oh my goodness, this outfit looks so weird without the, the cap on. But there we go, that's 999 coins again. This is, this is why this is the best way to get coins in the game. Let's go buy... Yes, I want to... I lose my, my combo bonus if I quit now, so... Anyway. Let's go buy another outfit for 999 coins, since there is another one that is 9999 coins. I can't... I'm not sure if I'm getting that number wrong, but anyway. And also, this means that you can just collect coins from this mode by doing pretty much nothing. By just having it, having a balloon in each world, and have people find it, but they will be, be popped at some point. But there we go, got the 8-bit cap. So there we go, and that is it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.